Hi, I'm Roberto Marquez. In this video, I present OpenSCAD IDE's alternative to Thingiverse's customizer. The next thing we'll do for this project is download the OpenSCAD IDE, which is available from openscad.org slash downloads.html. And on this page, you'll see at the top installations for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. But these are not the ones we're after. We're going to get the ones that are listed under Development Snapshots. And again, they're available. The installations are available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. Grab the one that's appropriate for your operating system, install it, and we can continue after that. Okay, at this point, you should have downloaded and installed the development snapshot of OpenSCAD Nightly. And if you're using Ubuntu like I am, you can find it in the, the start menu, the, the Unity menu. And I have two of them actually. One is the stock version which has this lighter icon and then I also have this darker one which represents the OpenSCAD nightly version so that's what we're going to use for this because it has customizer and the first time you use it it's not enabled so we're going to have to go to the edit preferences menu and ensure that under features the customizer is enabled and then you can go exit out of there and go to view and uncheck this hide customizer menu. You would think by default it's enabled, but you have to uncheck the hide option. And then you'll have customizer on this side menu here. Okay, so at this point you should have enabled the customizer in the OpenSCAD IDE and turned on the view for it and see this on the right hand side. The next step is to load a customizer from Thingiverse. And I've already pre-selected one, which is one that I created. And it's a name tag generator. Uh, if you're interested, the, the URL is up here. And if you open it in customizer like you normally do, you'll see that the code link is right here to sort of view the source. And oh, wow, it looks like it's actually working right now, yeah, right now it's not working for this reason, but if you view the source, select it all, copy it, and then go back to your OpenSCAD application, and we're going to paste it into the editor by uh, unchecking hide editor, and then we'll just paste it in here. It'll take a second to load the code, but once it's there, you'll hit the reset button. And notice that all these options on the right hand have now appeared and we can go ahead and get rid of the editor again and zoom out a little bit and start customizing this thing so the left icon currently is moon but i'm going to change it to creeper you can see the change there instantly or almost instantly for the right right icon i'm going to change it to a light bulb which reflects is reflected here and it's it's pretty much the same as thing versus customizer except that you're using an offline version from the actual OpenSCAD IDE and one more thing that I'll just change is, is instead of maybe uh, the top text being first Nesto Lasquez I'll change it to my actual name which is Roberto Marquez and that's pretty much how you would grab something from Thingiverse paste its contents into OpenSCAD and then start customizing like that you don't have to wait on the online version to be available once you've customized your thing to your heart's content you are going to use uh, the menus up here to export uh, and render or render and export to your STL so the, the first menu to use is design and then render I already know ahead of time that this is going to take quite a, a, you know, a couple of moments and I just wanted to, you know, talk about the Okay, so uh, once it renders, you'll see, uh, you know, messages down here about that. And you, the next menu to use for getting your STO is File, Export, as an STO and just give it a meaningful name and you'll have an STO that is fit for printing 
and you know send it off to whatever your favorite slicer is and good to go so that's how the development snapshot builds of the OpenSCAD IDE can be used with customizable things from Thingiverse. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more OpenSCAD content.